Welcome, business owners, to Sell Your Company for Maximum Value. My name is Michael D. Rubin, and I'm the CEO and founder of MDR and Associates in Frisco, Texas. And I am in the studio with our CFO, Jenny Swain. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hope all is well. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. You know, I'm doing good. I, I, I was a little rocked uh, about a week ago when our ex-president missed losing his life by about one centimeter. Right. As a conservative Christian firm uh, and my, the faith values that I have within our firm, uh, immediately praying for the tr for Trump and the Trump family, saw him at the convention, and uh, uh, he he looked like a different guy. To me at the convention i don't want to go too deep on yeah, this right all i'm saying is i don't know where the breakdown was but uh it's been 43 years since a president was uh, attempted uh, attempted assassination right and thank god it he was uh I, I really believe the lord protected him just like they've said on fox news and other stations i think the good lord protected our ex-president from immediate death that would have been a more horrific site last saturday don't you think oh can you imagine can you imagine mm -mm. no mm -mm. right couple an inch over yeah. and we have a uh executed president on live tv and and there's we're gonna see a lot come out over the next few weeks but i just want my prayers and i've been praying for the president I've been praying for his family i think his family is doing a great job stepping up I, um so uh, i love seeing the granddaughter come out and speak on his behalf that was amazing uh, but anyway, we're going to get right into the show. Um, today, I, uh, Jenny, I really want to talk about not not selling your company yourself. I think it's absolutely ludicrous to try to run a process yourself. Uh, right. And so today, we're going to go over the top 10 reasons you need to hire a professional business broker or M&A advisory firm to sell your company of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. It's your biggest sale ever. It's a once in a lifetime sale. These are the top 10 reasons why you want to hire a firm. If it's not us at MDR and Associates, let it be someone else, but do not, as my chapter three of my book says, do not do it alone. That's my right. book I wrote last, last summer, it's called sell your company for maximum value. Every week, multiple times during the show, I'll offer it to the first three callers. I'll do that right now. Get your pens ready. Get your phones ready. If you'd like a signed copy of How to Maximize Your Sale, Increase Value in Your Company, this is a great short, short to read. It's, it's 110 pages, easy to read book. Sell your company for maximum value. First three callers to text me or call me, give me your name, your business type, on my direct cell phone. Here it comes, 469 nine nine five six zero six zero four six nine 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 five six zero six zero i'll call you uh tomorrow on monday 10 a.m to 12 we'll have an intro call i'll get you a copy of the signed book a signed copy of the book and uh we'll be off to the races so there's the okay. first time so perfect sounds good okay so top 10 reasons to hire a business broker uh the first one you must have a buffer in the middle what does that mean exactly a buffer in the middle I talk about it over the last few weeks, if you've joined us on the show at all, being the buffer in the middle is taking, the, absorbing the bad news from the sell side and the bad news from the buy side. I'll give you a great example. I'm dealing with a, uh, I'm currently in a, in a negotiations, final negotiations. We're about to get a revised signed LOI on a metal recycling company here in North Texas, two locations. And, um, the buyer wants all the inventory, and our seller wants to limit it to a uh, uh, about a third of the inventory that he has currently. Okay. Who's going to be the buffer in the middle on that? To tell the, the buyer, you're only getting, uh, let's make up a number, 500000 in inventory, right. and let's say they have a million and a half. Who's going to be that buffer? Right. You are. You are. Yeah. yeah uh, you have to deliver. Uh, somebody's got to be the bad guy. Well, otherwise, it's going to be... Turn into They'll a very never contentious agree. You'll never situation. agree on inventory. How long is it going to stay? What's the salary afterwards? Right. Yep. Forget just price. There's so many more components to a business broker, and we really deal in the in the five to fifty million, the three to thirty million price range, mm -hmm. which is true M and A advisory. 
It's underneath the investment bankers and above the business brokers. Right. It, I don't care if you're an investment banker, M&A advisory like us, or a Main Street business broker, which I started at. You've got to start small. We still sell smaller deals, folks. If you're only doing a million in revenue, don't worry. Call us. Text me. We will do that deal if you have certain criteria. But, yeah, without a buffer in the middle, there's like a 3 or 6% chance of closing. Right. You're not well, saving and, anything. You're killing your own deal. Well, and on top of that, even if – even as a buffer in the middle, you're going to have lots of good ideas because you've seen a lot of deals. That's so, coming. That, that's that's on this oh, list. Oh, that is up to, uh, well, <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Well, let's so, move on to number two then. Okay. What is Okay. It? Number two, you are going to, or we are going to help them run a 120 to 180 day professional process. Yeah. I mean, I've learned the process from other firms, other owners of firms way back, maybe in 12, 13, when we started doing deals over two, three million. You have to have a real timeline for everything. Right. You're not going to fly by the seat of your pants with raw financials. You're not just going to send out your own. You need a, a, a marketing package that you do such a glorious job on. Your marketing packages Thank are you. awesome. They're 25, 30 pages long on substantial deals that might be even a little bit longer. And they're, they, they do a great job of business facts and all this other stuff. And, 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 and you know, there's the video we do. And we're going to go over the process later. But uh, in, in this segment, we're going to cover our 10-step unique process. But it's a real process. And it, it lands a deal, multiple offers within 30, 60 days. And it clo- we close deals in the third, fourth, or fifth month, generally. Yeah. You've seen that, right. right? Makes it faster, right? Well, the mm-hmm. industry stati- statistics nine and a half months, mm-hmm. and only twenty twenty percent sell. Right. We sell in four months, four mm-hmm. and a half, five, six at the latest. Right. For ninety, and we have a ninety percent success rate because our process has been chiseled over fifteen years and two hundred thirty transactions. Right. What's the third right. one? All right, we help create a competitive landscape. Multiple buyers are bidding. So let me ask you this. If you're a business owner in Texas, you might be driving around thinking, well, I can do this myself. Good luck. Good luck. You're not going to create the competitive landscape we are with 10,000 registered buyers. Yeah. It's not going to happen. We have investors. We have private equity. We have family offices. We have strategic partners, uh, strategic companies. We can do a, a list off some software that we have. We did that for the metal recycling it presented 80 of the top people that own metal recycling companies in the country. They're all private equity and family offices. If you have a sizable company and you're thinking you're going to do this on your own, create a competitive landscape, it will not happen. If this makes sense to you, as, as we continue, you'd like a free copy of the book, you'd like to just meet us, meet me, me, founder to founder, so I can give you a compliment. We are the home of the complimentary snapshot valuation. We're going to give you a free value one way or the other over the phone or in a discovery meeting. Because you don't know if you want to sell. Until you know what you're worth. Uh, if you'd like a copy of the book right now, I'm going to give my number a second time in this segment. Uh, direct to my cell phone. Text me your name, your business type. You'd like a signed copy of the book that goes over all these details, including our 10-step unique process. Get your pens ready. Get your phones ready. Here it is. My direct cell phone is 469-995-6060. 469 Okay, back okay. to the list. All right, so um, throughout the process, you're going to have lots of times when these things are just going to be on the verge of collapse. So as a broker, how are you helping revive that deal? Well, you can't revive it yourself if you're the seller. You're too emotionally vested. Right. You throw up your first hands. Time, first really time the buyer says your, your baby's ugly, uh, that the deal's done. Yeah. There's not a buffer in the middle to revive the deal. Right. And they they die how many times, Jenny? How many times you see them die? Oh, three, four, five. Let's talk seven, about the twenty eight. million dollar tank company we sold last yeah, year. How many times lots, did that die? Lots and five, lots. seven, yeah. ten. Right. So one to ten times it dies. Who's going to revive it? Who's going to talk that buyer off the ledge and and relay that information in a time limit at the right time? Well, and who's going to come up with all the, options, ways exactly. to revive it? Critical thinking when you interview an M and A advisor has to be sky high. Right. Right. Just bragging right. on my son. He started an, uh, a firm just like mine, 27 years old. I said, son, your critical thinking is off the charts. And I think that's a strength of mine. My wife always talks about critical thinking and ability to, to pivot. Can mm-hmm. you can you speak to that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of times in these deals, you think you're at an impasse where the buyer wants one thing, the seller wants another. And I'm always so impressed with the way that you pivot. Oh, you just, you, you have... You've got just other ways of doing the deal, other options, other things to look at. And the way you present them to them, it just it saves the deal every time. 
This next one's kind of like what we just talked about. Why don't you go ahead and read that off to us? Um, hiring a professional advisor that has closed hundreds of deals and can spot potential landmines that kill deals. This is one of those industries. You can hire a new realtor, and they're probably going to sell your business because the MLS does 90% of the work. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm sorry, sell your house. A realtor sell houses, and sometimes people make that correlation. Well, you're just like a realtor. Not at all. Not right. an MLS. We, we don't have an MLS that just sells the business. Right. We have to entice offers. We've got to run a process. We've got to have a list of prospective uh, strategic buyers and financial buyers and, and really not just do evaluation, but run an entire 120, 180-day process. So yeah. uh, for us, the, the amount of deals a firm has done and how many deals they do a year is, should be one of your first questions. Yeah. How many deals did you close last year? Right, close. Not, close. not just do, we have, We're close. about to have five closed deals in 2024. Right. Five. Right. The fifth one's coming up in 30 days. We're all looking forward to it. It's that appliance service we keep talking about. And it'll be the third one off the radio. We've closed, not signed, not listed, Mm -hmm. already through the process, and we're 20 weeks into the process of this radio show. So that proves that we we close deals in three, four months. Right. Especially when they're under $3 million. It's very easy for us to close. SBA loan, we have all those providers at the ready. We're about to get into how we have lawyers in our stable. So... Uh, yeah, the amount of deals an M&A firm has closed, you can fake everything on a website. You can't fake that. You can go to our website at sellmycompanynow.com. That's www.sellmycompanynow.com and look at the closed transactions. Our domain we've had for 15 years, that's a forwarding domain, by the way, is MDR, my initials, mdrma.com. Make sure you're on the right website. But, um... The other thing you can do is you can, to get more resources, you can go to YouTube and just put in the name of the show. Sell your company for maximum value. You're going to see every radio show and every podcast we did right. in studio. You'll be able to see Jenny, see myself, meet the championship deal team that we've assembled. And you'll see some client testimonials You'll see as some well. huge client right. testimonials. Great point. Right, right. What's the next one? Okay, so real quick, before we go to the next one, if you're just now joining us, I want you to know what it is that we're doing right now. We're just Yeah, talking, if you're talking. just joining us, we're going over the top 10 reasons you must hire a business broker or M&A advisory firm when, when attempting to sell your business. All right, so this... This, this next reason, hiring a professional advisor, you can increase your value by a minimum of 10 to 15%. How's that? Work? Well, I talked about fees a few weeks ago. They're 10 to 12%, anything under $3 million. So you're not saving anything. <laughs> you're not saving a fee by, 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 uh, by trying to do this on your own. You're limiting your chances to 3 to 6%, and you're going to get less value. You're right. going to get statistically 10 to 15% less value. Because you can't create a competitive landscape yourself. You can't be the buffer in the middle because you are the seller of the baby that you birthed. So, you know, it's one of those things where don't try to save a fee. Just get the baddest M&A firm on the planet. We think we're that. But, you know, that's just kind of a personal thing. Get the baddest M&A firm you can can hire. It's like I, I say this all the time on the radio. It's like a sports agent representing an athlete. That's how serious this is. Think about contracts. That athletes get. Yeah. It's in the millions. Right. If your business is above five, ten million, shame on you if you try to do it on yourself. You you might lose five million dollars in value. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So yeah. Exactly. Next one. Okay, next one. A professional advisor allows you to keep your attention and focus on your business. Well, think about it. If you're trying to answer calls off all the websites and you post this yourself and try to sell it yourself, what are you doing? 60, 70, 80. You don't want to know how much attention we have to put on one listing. One listing, we might get, I mean, the metal recycling, we've got 330 inquiries. Yeah. You're, you won't even be able to run them. your business. You yeah. will not be able to run your business if you try to sell it on your own. Well, you won't even have 330 inquiries. You won't call them back. <laughs> you're not creating a competitive landscape. So, yeah, I mean, you won't keep your eyes on the business. I've seen cases where they try to sell themselves. Half the value gets lost, and they call me back, and now instead of it being worth $3 million, I can think of one landscape company. We sold it for $1.2 because mm-hmm. his, his eye went off the business. He lost so much business. Right. This p- particular individual in the year, he tried to do it himself. Yep. Exactly. Do not sell it yourself. Do not take your eye off the business. When we take on one of our 15 engagements a year, you know what I tell the seller? I say, I say, your job is to keep your eye on the business because mm-hmm. we can't sell it if it takes a downturn, right? Exactly. Right. So here right. you go. You try right. to sell it yourself, takes a downturn, it goes from sellable 
to completely mm-hmm. unsellable right. in the worst case scenario. What's right. the next one? Hiring an advisor ensures confidentiality. That's another one. You sell it yourself, hand, handling all those buyer inquiries, taking your eye off the business. Someone overhears you with those inquiries or someone wants to come by to do a showing. We don't even do those because of our 4K HD video. Right. You've just broken confidentiality. The three people you don't want to ever, ever, ever find out you're selling is employees, clients, or mm, competitors. Yeah. You will destroy your business in 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 quick time. Right, right. Um, an advisor will help you package the deal professionally with a marketing package and our 4K video, HD 4K video. We're going to go over our 10-step unique process uh, in the it, later on in the show. You're going to want to stay tuned the next 35, 40 minutes because I'm telling you, when we go over our 10-step uh, unique process out of the book, uh, uh, you're going to be blown away, absolutely blown away at how we've chiseled this process. So uh, if this makes sense to you, we got to take a break here in about 30 seconds. This makes sense to you. One last time for this segment. If you're a business owner in Texas, you'd like a free copy of Sell Your Company for Maximum Value, timing process, and how to get maximum value in the shortest period of time. It also goes over what we're about to go over, a 10-step unique process. Hit me directly on my cell phone right now with your name, business type, and I'll get you a signed copy of the book. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to connect with you. Uh, if you're if you're a brother or sister in Christ like uh, of mine, I definitely want to hear from you. Um, we're, we're believers, and uh, we believe God's going to lead us to the right clients, um, and and vice versa. You, we've got to be a fit for you. You got to be a fit for us. Hit me at four six nine 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 five six zero six zero four six nine 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 five six zero six zero right now for a complimentary copy of the book. We're going to take a quick break, Jenny. We'll be right okay. back Sounds with good. more of Sell Your Company for Maximum Value. Welcome back, business owners, North Texas. You're you're listening to Sell Your Company for Maximum Value. Michael D. Rubin here in the studio with Jenny Swain. We're going to continue on our discussion of uh, we just went over the top ten reasons to hire a professional M and A advisory firm mm-hmm. or business brokerage when selling your company. Yeah. So so now let's talk about timing, and you know when's the right time to sell your company? Is there a right time? And then let's also talk about what you mean by the word valuation. Timing is so important, right? The second, second, the second book of the uh, second chapter of the book that I'm offering complimentary. I'm going to about to do that to uh, right after this statement. The second chapter of the book is called "Timing Is Everything," mm-hmm. right? Right. It's three or four pages, easy to read chapter. Yep. It lists some questions you're going to answer in your head. Uh, it kind of a, as a questionnaire right. whether you're ready. Mm-hmm. But you got to be ready in two ways, right? You remember the two ways? You go for it. Tell me financially you've got to be yep. ready you oh, you've got to have clean financials we'll clean mm-hmm. them up for you if we need to yep. right you got you got to show something on the net income line and the bottom of that tax return right people buy documentation right conversation or documentation beats conversation i like to say so you got to be financially ready right and emotionally ready there yeah we go. i know that one ah. <laughs> yeah, we made a joke a couple a few weeks ago Todd and I, are you ready you're not ready are you ready i mean people you're never ready to sell your company, your yeah. baby. Not unless you're just exhausted and tired from it, and then that's probably a bad time. And we've talked to at least 10 people in their 80s that I talked to that there was no business left. Right. Exactly. You want to sell when you are nice and steady or a little bit? Yeah. Up. So what's this new thing I'm saying about the home of the the free snapshot business evaluation? What is that? I don't know. It's it's a, it's It's the next step. Mm-hmm. If we're going to offer free book, free podcast, radio show you can listen to, right? Mm-hmm. That we we have sponsors, but we're basically paying for. Right. Right? We have all this information we're trying to get to you. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't we give you at least what we call our strike zone snapshot valuation? Right. From low to high, here's what you're worth. You provide us with the last three years of financials, even before we meet. Because why waste your time? Right. Or ours. Right. Right. You don't know if you want to sell till you're emotionally ready or financially ready. Let's see if right. you're financially ready. Right. Everyone's got a number. Let's be mm-hmm. honest. Every business owner out there has a number in their mind. Yeah. You know and they're I usually this? pretty close. <laughs> I think so. I mean, you've said before, they usually kind of know what they're worth. Some do, some don't. Yeah. Some are way sky high. Well, true. They're 10 times EBITDA. They're never they're... too low. Right, right, <laughs> right. Well, once I've seen that. <laughs> so you've got your number. We want to tell you what the market will bear. After 230 transactions since 2008, 
MDR and Associates is a premier. We are a we are the premier M and A advisory firm in the state of Texas. We've done more deals. We've looked at thousands of companies. We know what your company is worth, especially if it's manufacturing, distribution, or service. So, if you'd like that snapshot valuation and a free copy of the book, hit me on my direct and private cell phone. That's founder to founder. Founders want to talk to who, Jenny? They want to talk to other founders. Other founders, just because of confidentiality. I hear more doors shut when I'm on the phone with founders than you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Can you hold on a second? <laughs> the door shuts. <laughs> that was a great was sound a, effect. Was that, was that a door shutting? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know I'd, what that was. I'd have to hear that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can talk now. And we, we go into the conversation of, okay, are you private and confidential? Yes, I am. All right, if you'd like that, if you'd like a free copy of the book and a snapshot, one page, it's just one page. It shows them low to high. Answer some questions on a questionnaire. Send us your three years financials, and we'll tell you what you're worth. Low to high, and you can tell us if you like it. Hit me on my cell phone at 469-995-6060. 469-995-6060. We're going to just be right back, have a short break, and we'll be yep. back with Sell Your Company for Maximum Value. Welcome back, Texas business owners, to Sell Your Company for Maximum Value. I'm in the studio with the great, the one and only Jenny wow. Swain. I feel like I should be wearing a cape Jenny on the block. Something. And she calls me the bulldog because I am hyper-focused on getting you not minimum value on your business. Right. Maximum value. Maximum you will value. fight for your clients. I will fight. No, I don't Bare your teeth. I don't want to sound like the hammer or the guy on the you top like of the... You like my growl? I don't, <laughs> with a sledgehammer on top of an 18-wheeler. <laughs> okay, anyway. okay, okay. We're wasting time. We're wasting time. They don't want to hear about it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Back okay. to the book. So um, we've got this great book that Michael has written, and I hope that everybody calls in, texts in, so that they can get a copy of it and read it for themselves. But right now we're going to go over Chapter 7 in the book, which is our 10-step unique process. So we don't have a lot of time in this segment, so I think Michael's going to kind of blaze through this. So listen up. Here we go. This is what a real M&A process looks like. We design this after real M&A firms that do quite but quite a bit bigger deals than we do. Right. $50 million and up. We go to about $50 million in terms of sales price. We design this to the 50 to $500 million firms, the true investment banks that run a 120 to 180-day process. Yeah. When I started as a business broker in 2008, we were sending out raw financials because we didn't know any better. We didn't right. have marketing packages and videos and process and dates and timelines. You need that in order to create a competitive landscape, get six offers to, to find the perfect buyer. You really do. So this is going to give a seller a great idea of, of how process. the process works. Or how MDR and Associates process works. That's right. That's okay. right. If you, see, if you become a client, you'll go through all 10 of these steps. Here we go. Okay. Let's do it. Step one. Schedule a discovery meeting. I've scheduled 12 and sat with 12 people off the radio. We signed four listings. We do a, we, we call about one out of four clients for different reasons. I'll go over that later in, later in the show. The last segment, I want to talk about what a good list, listing looks for us. But basically, we, when we schedule a discovery meeting, we have no agenda. We, we sit back and say, tell us your story, your value proposition, what your goals are. If we can meet them, we engage. In it, and if we can't meet them, uh, we part friends. And we Perfect. give them that snapshot for evaluation. Okay, so after you have a successful discovery meeting, and you decide that you'd like to become a client, step two, execute listing agreement or engagement letter. And there's a reason it's called an agreement. We don't do contracts. Right. We don't do handshakes, but right. we don't do contracts. Yep. Someone doesn't want to work with us, then that's fine. We don't want to work with them. Exactly. I've ripped up listing agreements the day after someone signed it. I don't, right. I don't know other brokers that do that. They, they think it's a contract. We, we, need to, we, need to, uh, we need to have something that says, here's what we're going to get if and when. You sign a deal. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Business owners always in control at MDR and Associates. Right. You don't sign a deal, we don't get our success fee. What's okay. the next step? All right. So step three, complete the marketing package, a 4K HD video, and sometimes a third-party valuation. I, I brag on you all the time about the marketing package. Oh, we have you. Tom Lociato that shoots a 4K HD drone inside out of the facility. It's a three-and-a-half three, three minute video. All of our buyer and buyer groups say it's absolutely spectacular. I think we our presentation, our first 
testimony on, on our homepage at www.sellmycompanynow.com. Our homepage is uh, Peterson Landscaping bragging about our presentation. And occasionally we'll go beyond the one one page snapshot valuation. We'll do a hundred and fifty page formal business valuation. So we have got either got two or three pieces of information armed, and we move on to the next step. All right. So we use all those marketing materials, yep. and we put it out there in the market. Yep. And then we start getting calls and people interested. So yep. step four is to screen prospective buyers. Not only have we looked at strategic buyers on a, on a proprietary software we have, but then we go onto a hundred websites, uh, biz buy sell, and all the other sites, and it's a Amazing how many buyers are out there looking, continually looking for companies. It's a great time to sell in 2024. That's right. Okay, so step five, we schedule buyer-seller meetings. Yep, buyer-seller meetings are where the magic either happens or it doesn't. It's a fit for the buyer, it's a fit for the seller, or it's not. We see the magic. We ask you what you think first. If we've done a good job, you lean in and say, Mike, Mike, Jenny, what do you guys think? How do you feel about that buyer? Yep. And we generally won't won't entertain a buyer that's not ready to do the next step. Right. Which right. is? So the next step, step six, entice multiple letters of intent. Letters of intent are somewhere between worthless and interesting. Listen, to, I'll say it again. Letters of intent are somewhere between worthless and interesting without refundable earnest money. I'm a sales coach at the highest level. I know, always been the top salesperson everywhere I've been. I can tell you. Nothing sold till money's exchanged. Nobody's going to look at our clients' uh, books at, at the due diligence level after LOI signed without putting money up. Right. Got to have skin in the game. Period. Mm -hmm. And other firms do that. I have no idea what they're doing. Yeah. They're tying their seller up for 120 days for a financial practical exam, and it's not pleasant. <laughs> Before we exam. go into oh, 7, Lord. 8, 9, and 10, if this is making sense to you, you want a free copy of this book with all 10, all 10 are identified and a bunch of other chapters I think will be worthy of your time, you'd like a free copy of the book, hit me right now. Get your pens ready. 469-995-6060. 469-995-6060. Give me your name, your business type. I'll get right back to you tomorrow from 10 to 12. All right, next step. Okay, step seven. We're going to review all the offers with our client. Right. You've got three chances. We're going to do that in person. It's just the best practice at our firm. You're going to either reject, counter, or accept the offer. We're always going to counter every aspect of it. Yep. We're always going to counter. We're always going to push the envelope envelope of maximum value. Right. That's what makes us different. This is why you want multiple offers. That's right. You got. Oh, that's another good point. Mm -hmm. One offer doesn't hold a hold water. Right. You must have two or three at, at least yep. in order to create a competitive landscape. What's the next one? Okay, so we've we've accepted an LOI and step eight. We're going to go through a diligence process. Jenny on the block is. Activated, oh, wow. Especially on the big deals. Yes. Because yes. defending EBITDA is something she does well. That's right. She'll go line by line in your profit and loss up against private equity, family offices. She's a forensic accountant from SMU, worked at Riveron Consulting. She's familiar with Q of E's, which a lot of the big deals, you're going to go into a quality of earnings process at that point. Jenny, we are so blessed to have Aww, you on our championship deal team. Thank What's you. the next one? Thank you. Okay, so you've gotten through the step eight, the dil diligence process. Which is, an, which it, by the way, is landmines everywhere. We earn our fee from LOI and earnest money to close. And I feel like that is where, I mean, you shine all over the place, but that, that process, the landmines, that is where you shine, Michael. You well, because it's poker pivot. playing the whole time. We're not going to let them retrade the deal. I'll say it again. We will not let them retrade the deal. Step nine. Step nine, create all the legal documents. I skipped. the. You might have noticed the beginning of the segment. I mentioned nine. I skipped it on purpose. I want to talk about this. We have a gentleman by the name of Steve Clemens. He's brilliant. And he's brilliant because when there's a problem and there's a little speed bump, you know what he does? He comes to the speed bump with the solution, and we drive right over it. Right. There's deal makers and deal breakers. That's a chapter in the book. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, that's a chapter in the book. About to offer the book for free again, so get your pens and, 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 and phone ready. What's the, last what's the last step? All right. Last step is to close the transaction and wire the seller proceeds. Not only Money. is it fun to hand a $22 million check last year to Miss Vicky mm -hmm. or $7.5 million to Chris Davis. Yeah. Not only was that was that fun, those two manufacturing companies, mm -hmm. but the celebration dinners were even more off the chain. Yeah. To see him relax two, three weeks later, right. post-transaction at Bob's Chop House, tipping a wine glass, having a lobster and filet mignon. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I literally, the reason my hope torch never gets blown out is I love good meals. No. No, that's not, that's not that's not true. The reason the hope my hope torch never gets blown out is I'm hyper 
focus on the wire. My wife likes to say, Christy, if you're listening, I know I've repeated a lot, but it's you're so right. Nothing happens till the wire. That's right. We don't complete the transaction. We have not done a good job. Oh, boy. Job. Bulldog's coming out. <laughs> there we go. Is this making sense to you? You're driving around. You're a business owner, whether you're a Gen X like us. That's right. Or even a millennial. We sold a millennials, uh, many millennials b- businesses. I don't, I don't know why we've kept them out for so long. Millennial, Gen X, or or a baby boomer. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're driving around, this makes sense to you. You want a free copy of the book. You want to read the chapter on lawyers, deal makers versus deal breakers. You want to read the chapter on our 10-step unique process. You want to read the chapter on increasing value. Hit me right now on my cell phone direct. My name's Michael D. Rubin at MDR Associates. I'd love to talk founder to founder. Here's my cell. One last time in this segment. We'll be right back. We're going to have to take a quick break. Hit me on my cell right now, 469-995-6060. Text or voicemail, 469-995-6060. Give me your name, your business type, and we'll make that introductory call, 5 to 10 minute call on Monday, 10 a.m. to 12 tomorrow. Perfect. Um, Jenny, that was quick, fast, and furious. Uh, you're not going to want to miss us ending the show. We're going to take a, a quick break here, about 20 seconds. You are not going to want to miss this end. We're going to go over um, what's happened with the 4950 inquiries. And there's, the, there's some trends I'm seeing now. There's some trends, okay. especially with baby right. boomers. Yeah. When we come back, we'll talk about trends and we'll talk about don't wait too long to sell your company yep. for maximum value. Folks, Perfect. we'll be right back. Business owners, North Texas, welcome back to Sell Your Company for Maximum Value. Michael D. Rubin of MDR and Associates in the studio with our Chief Financial Officer, Jenny Swain. Yay. Hello. That sounds like a UFC thing. A little bit. I and feel like now, I should come out fighting or something. Fighting. Like bouncing around. Five, boxing. seven, 118 pounds. <laughs> representing Oklahoma State wish. University. No. <laughs> Yeah, I have a cold, so the radio. I have a little bit of a cold, so the radio, the radio voice just came out. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll did. put that away. Oh my goodness! Okay, so I think that we should give people a little lay of the land. Let's tell them what's going on, what we've been seeing. We've what taken fifty something calls from people off the radio who have called or texted. You know what's been that? What's what's? Give me the scoop. What's happened with that? Yeah, it's been interesting. You know, 20 weeks. Gosh, 20 weeks. Can you believe that? No. Been on the radio 20 weeks. That's we got six crazy. more. That's crazy. But it's like we take what? a break for football. That's five. How many months is that? 20 weeks is? 20 weeks. Uh, four it's or almost five months. Five months. Yeah. yeah getting five months. Coming around five months. Um, yeah, four and a half, five months. You know, we've had 50 inquiries other than just I want a free book and there was nothing other than that. But 50 inquiries of business owners that were interested in, in taking a phone call. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been an honor and a privilege to talk to so many different business owners. Yeah. I mean, uh, appliance service to garage door service to uh, porta potty company, which is a service company. You wouldn't believe how big they were. Uh, you know, they do the state fair and all that kind of right, stuff. And, right. And, uh, and gosh, it goes on. It's a man- manufacturing company for airline parts, uh, wedding venues. Um, it, it, it's just been remarkable how many mm-hmm. different businesses we focus primarily. I haven't said this on the show, but we, a good listing for us is, is generally a manufacturing distribution or service company that's doing one to 50 million in revenue. Yeah. Our website says one to a hundred million in revenue. Mm-hmm. It might say three to a hundred, but we certainly serve the one, the one to a hundred. And our website is sellmycompanynow.com. If you haven't been there, sellmycompanynow.com. Speak to that for a second. Are there resources on that website? Oh, yeah. There's, it's great. If you go out there and check it out, there's all kinds of information about all of us, our, our entire team. There's right. client testimonials. There are um, pictures of, of just you know lots of great stuff, lots of resources. So I, definitely I, check it out. Yeah, I don't know too many firms that have eight buyer-seller testimonials that are in the last year or two that we've closed. Right. You want you want references for MDR and Associates? Go to my homepage. Yeah. Check right? it out. Check it out. Mm-hmm. It's www.mdrma. That's the website. Mdrma. Or the forwarding domain is sellmycompanynow.com. We also own Sell Your Company for Maximum Value, which is the name of this show, our podcast, and the book. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like a copy of the book real quick, I'm going to offer this twice, once right now, once right at the end of the segment. If you'd like a cop- free copy, a signed copy of the book, want to connect founder to founder, see what you're worth with our free 
complimentary snapshot valuation. Hit me on my cell phone at 469-995-6060. 469-995-6060 right now. I'll text you back and call you tomorrow. All right. So um, you uh, an update of what's happened. 50 inquiries. We've okay. met with 13 now companies, tw- uh, 12 or 13 in person. Okay. And four of them were a fit. Okay. For us and them. Right. Meaning they were profitable, trackable, highly motivated. They liked us and we liked them. And they recognize we've been in the market now. We've been professionalizing our process. We have the right championship deal team. And we signed a listing in- agreement or engagement letter. And we've sold all four of those companies. It's amazing. Close three. Yeah. And the fourth one closes in 35 days. Yeah. I was on a catch up call with the buyer and seller. They're both excited. Um, all of these deals are under five million dollars in value, but last year we closed a seven and a half and a twenty two million so it doesn 't matter how big you are uh, we're, we really are our our fairway is probably three to twenty million in revenue is really if you 're a three to twenty right. million dollar revenue investment banks won 't pay attention to you business brokers I think main street aren 't quite equipped to handle you yep that 's that 's the space we play in we 're founder led boutique high touch m a advisory firm, just like a sports agent would represent an athlete, our athletes are Texas business owners. That's right. That's right. We have a very, very good process that keeps us rolling. It's been tried and tested. Yep. And it, it works well. And we only take 15 deals a year. What does that right. mean? We have eight, nine right now. So if you, we only have probably four or five new, more spots before we're rolling into next year we will turn down one out of three out of four deals that we sit down with because if we can't we don't think we can get maximum value if we don't think we can engage we're going to bless you arm you with that snapshot valuation free copy of the book and we're going to bless you but we're not going to engage we're not going to formally engage if you're needing to retire i want to i want to i want to reach out right now last few minutes of the show there's actually a minute and a half if you're wanting to retire if you're needing to retire if you're saying this is my time contact me right now on my cell phone and come meet with us if you're profitable trackable highly motivated we want to meet you we want we need to meet you because i think it's a it it, it would be a perfect fit i think it would bless you and your family i love to get maximum value for my business owners i'll defend it with everything i have you've seen it Jenny. yeah so hit me on my cell phone at 469-995-6060 Give me your business type. Give me your name. Tell me how motivated you are. That'll really fire me up because it's true. I'm only going to be as motivated as you are to get out of your business right? and to, to extract the value at the right time. And if now's the right time, perfect time to sell before maybe capital gains next year goes up. Some people are saying it's, it's going to double. Mm-hmm. That means you sell it for a million. Your capital gains aren't 200,000. It might be 400,000. Right. At 10 million instead of 2 million, like the metal recycling, it could be 4 million. Yeah. That's 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 it's a big disastrous. Impact. Big impact. You'd have to sell it for thirty percent more money just to get the same net. So, again, last time, Michael Rubin with MDR and Associates, reach out myself, four six nine 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 five six zero six zero. Four six nine 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 five sixty sixty. Until next week, North Texas business owners. Be blessed.